Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. As you know, I have shared how you can implement the server action with the feature called create a user by the form, how you can show users. Also, we have shared how you can implement the error handling, the notification from the server action. Now, the time is to share with you how you can delete a user and with a confirmation window like when someone click on, hit on the delete button then there is a confirmation window appearing and if user hit on the confirm then you will user will delete so there is the user list if i move over the user list it's a single user i will move over the single user there is a button i don't need to implement the button over there because we are going to use server action so we will use a form so let's create a file Okay, so delete user form component was created. Now we will implement over there. We will go over there and we will implement the form over there. Okay, single user. We don't need there. Yeah. Delete user, delete user, fine. And call is function. We just need uh, here a input field and a button, right? Type it in and name is id and a value right value this value is by default is coming by through props so we will pass the value from there all right id and from there we will pass the user id and here we will receive the id over there id and this id should be a string And the value, the value should be ID. Now we will implement the button. Button delete. Now let's uh, move to the actions file. This is our user action file. Here we will create uh, another function. This is called delete user. Export delete a user. This is the async function and we'll know it over anything over there. As we cast the form data over there, we'll do same way. Okay. So let's move to the form data. The form data. And also we must need the database connection. All right db connect okay and uh, if i console this let me check what we'll find this is a delete a user action button user list no no, no. yes single user include yeah. that is okay so here we can apply action delete a user okay we will import this perfect so now if i go over there our form if i refresh it look over there okay there is a error appearing only plain object can be passed to client component from the server component okay so we'll fix this nothing to worry if i click on delete data we have passed to our uh, actions we have received the data over there this is our id so there is an error uh, which comes from the next only plain object can be passed to client component from server component so you can see from the user list we have single user right and inside the single user we have the data to pass the this id we have to convert this id to string to fix this issue to a string a string i think the issue is fixed let me refresh it yeah you see the issue is fixed now if i click on glitch perfect okay now let's go over the user and here we will write mm -hmm. constant result average head user find by id and delete so the find by id 
and delete okay and same time uh, we'll pass the id over there id now if i go to the delete nothing is happening let me refresh remember okay that is passed you see this is the hello if i delete refresh it hello is not over there so again we have to use the revalidate method to refresh this data so as we use the revalidate path we will use the same after the result is success revalidate path and same and if the error is appearing then we will return over there yeah there is an error deleting okay so now if i click on delete you see deleted you see deleted perfectly deleted no no issue happening now it's like deleting like a rocket so i think if there is a loader that will be great for us right so we have already implemented that loader in our action button like this we can just go to our delete user form we no need this we just call the action button then the our work is done action button right and uh, we will write a title over there and this is the delete you can see if i click on delete you see delete you see <laughs> okay so here uh, i will apply a method as we used before like the set timeout then you will understand what is happening over there okay so click on delete working 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 delete <laughs> that's fine you know uh, okay let's fun again the working 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 great <laughs> again uh, asdf we don't need the asdf let's kick him out working working delete <laughs> oh fine so now if you mistakenly click on delete then the user will be delete so we have to avoid this kind of issues we have to show user a confirmation window hi do you are you sure you want to be delete the user then if user click on the yes then user will be deleted okay until the user will keep as it is so let's move to the delete user form here we will implement the action for deleting user <laughs> so very first let's move our old school yeah so and I'll delete a user Uh, we will not need about this over there and uh, how do you do we will let user keep over there and now this is a server component okay so before that i think uh, i will uh, keep this function for you to learn over there okay so this is the delete user form uh, i just copy it and paste it over there just remember this is the server side component okay so i will rename it uh, server side server side okay so whenever you have thing to check my github so you can check over there okay and for now because we are going to convert this server side component to client client side component so i want you can find this component in my github profile so you can collect the data i mean collect the code from over there so let's move there to so delete user form so let's again <laughs> move to old school constant uh, handle delete user and okay fine now this should be a use client use client okay we will need anything out there delete user okay right and here we will found id which is a string uh, no, 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 no problem okay we pass the event and also we will need uh which is called on submit on submit and here we will pass the event delete user and also 
we'll pass the event over there and like we we'll, okay this is not if any so we'll write over there event uh, react mouse 11 okay fine and uh, this is the form event oh sorry sorry it's not assignable we have this form event okay so this is the form event no problem Write the event dot prevent default. This is perfect. Now we'll call the delete user and we'll pass the ID over there. Okay. Now same time I will go to the user action and this is delete user. So I will same same as a we will copy it and paste over there in the screen name server action. This is for you. You can use it and we don't need the data over there we just pass the id and this is the string and also we don't need anything over there perfect now delete user from okay delete user here is the return okay fine now let's check the response constant response okay all right fine so if response dot error then sorry if error found then okay if error found then toast dot error and uh, toast toast error is visible uh, response And the same time, else toast success deleted successfully, right? Deleted user successfully. So response found, okay, okay. And this is, should be a uh, function, okay? Async function. I don't need anything. And this should be async function. And this is average. Okay, so perfect. We'll implement the toast, react hot toast. Okay, all error is passed. Now let me check. I just deleting one user. Delete, delete user successfully. Okay. So now we have to show a confirmation window. So to show a confirmation window is quite easy. Show a window dot confirm okay and here, here you'll see you show right yes are you sure you want to delete this user so now um, if i committed this and save this you can see if we click on delete there is a confirmation window okay or cancel so let me show you cons cons and um, confirmation if i click on the confirmation and here you'll find the confirmation result you can see if i click on if i go on console sorry if i go on console console what you'll find receive over right there click on delete and if i press on ok that is true and on second if i press and cancel that is false so there should be a con condition if confirmation found right so response if confirmation is perfect then it will pass over there now you can you can see right if i delete click on delete cancel the user is not deleted if i click delete and click ok the user will delete it successfully so perfect our action button and everything is work, working perfectly no 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 issue over there so there is five different different benefit we have found when you use the server action number one we can write the less code 
Number two, we can do the get, put, post, delete, or all kind of requests without any API. Number three, uh, this is the secure, so there is no doubt. Number four, we can use the Mongos, we can use the SQL, we can use the Prisma, we can use the Redis, there is no problem. And now number five, the loading estate implementation is too, too much easy as you uh, see in my code in the last three videos. And let's discuss now about the design pandas. For example, you have a website, same time you have a iOS app and same time you have a Android app. This is called iOS. This is called and this is a website. So if your API is separate, then and that should be easy to connect the API from various type of platform. But uh, using server action, this is quite difficult. So there is a big, big issue. I mean, you cannot separate your API. Even if you have a big project and if you're going to share the API for the public or private, uh, like uh, if you can sell the sell your API so by the server action this is not possible so th this is the main main dis design business and from my my end I don't think this is a good programming pattern to use the server action but yes if you have a small type of project you have a, a, a tiny tiny project or you have a tight time to complete a project then you can use the server action but for a big project but for a healthy project i don't think the server action is a good practice but yes for a small type of project for a prototype of project server action is great great choice even it's reduce the time it is reduce the code it's quite helpful for a developer even for a site owner because if you create a separate api if you create a separate platform for api it is hard to maintain and maintenance for, for the website owner who are just launch his, his business this is for like for the startup business this is really really hard to maintain two separate website one for api and one for the portfolio so this depends on your project who is on is good and who is on is bad but for mind i think if this is a small project and uh, then the server action is great great implementation no doubt but if you have a have a big project and then api should be separate if this is a small project if it's a freelancing type of project then you can go ahead and use the server action if it is a long or big project then you can use the traditional api so that's it for today 